Hello and a very warm welcome to St. Mark's. My name is Saju and I am the vicar here. The reopening strategy team and I have been giving some thought into what we might expect when we come back to the church on the 13th of September. We wanted you to know before you go. When you come in, you'll come in in family groups. You'll all be wearing your masks. You will log in at the computer to make sure that the information that you put in online is correct and we know who's in church. You will then walk over to the sanitation station and you will clean your hands to keep everybody safe. Your safety is important to us and taking the right precautions is our topmost priority. So as you enter the church, you could see there is a one-way system that has been developed. Once you sanitize your hands, you would be led to your seats and please follow the one-way system. Please at all times try to remain seated except if you want to use the toilets or in any other emergency. And in that case, please follow the one-way system and if in doubt, ask any member on duty. Please at all times, Maintain a two meter social distance unless you are one household. When the church first opens, we will be having one service at 10.30. So we'll be asking people to book online every other week. If you are unable to come into church, you will still be able to see the service online. Service on a Sunday. Having listened to the results of the questionnaire that we sent out, we can sustainably offer one service at 10.30am each Sunday. In order to make it possible for everyone to worship, we are going to adopt a booking system, which Glyn is now going to explain. We have adopted a simple booking system. All you need to do is to go to St Mark's Church website, which is stmarkschurchjillingham.org, and enter your details. And don't worry if you don't have internet access. You can simply call the church office, leave a message, and the staff will make your booking. We require all people in the church building to wear face masks. Remember, face masks is not a replacement for the physical distancing. Hi, I'm Chris Cordell, and I lead our children's ministry on a Sunday morning. It is our intention to restart these ministries from the 13th of September, provided we have the volunteers to do this safely. We'll continue to utilise the old vicarage site, but we will need you to drop off and pick your children up from this site, as we won't be able to walk them down to the church anymore. We do ask that you don't enter the buildings when doing drop off and pick up. We'll meet you outside. Our gems, years one through six, will meet in the hall and will be socially distanced throughout. And our pebbles from ages three to reception will meet in the old vicarage and they will form a bubble for the purposes of worship on a Sunday morning. Children will wash their hands um, on entering and exiting the building and spaces will be cleaned before and after they meet. If you have any concerns or questions, please contact me. We've missed your children and we look forward to seeing them soon. So from the 13th of September, we plan to restart our youth ministries again. And for our 11 to 14 year olds, that's our rock ministry. We will meet back up at the old vicarage at 10.30, as we have done in the past. Um, and we will do our face-to-face -face sessions from there. We will meet up on a fortnightly basis at the old vicarage. And for the alternative weeks, we will continue with our online services we've been doing for the last few months. As Chris said prior to me talking, you will drop your children off and you'll pick them back up and we'll follow all the same guidelines Chris has already mentioned before. Here in St Mark's we take the safeguard with our children and young people very seriously. So just to put your mind at ease, all our leaders who are involved in children and youth work uh, DBS checked and they all have current and up-to-date safeguard and training. So hope to see you again soon. After the blessing, we would ask 
everybody to leave the church by the one-way system. If you want to have conversations with your friends, please do this outside at a safe distance. In order to comply with social distancing measures, we have rearranged the chairs in church and we can accommodate 50 people um, for any worship service. Many more of you have indicated on the survey that you would like to return to church and so we would encourage you all to be generous and to only book to come once a fortnight to give others an opportunity. We are at the real big strategy have worked really hard in carrying out a risk assessment, creating standard operating procedures for all our key holders and volunteers as we reopen our church building. We have procedures and a team in place to thoroughly clean our building after each service or as and when the church is used. So be rest assured, your safety means a lot to us and it is our topmost priority. Please stay in your seats throughout the service. Parents, your children are your responsibility. We would love to be a church where you feel free to move around and to dance while you worship. But right now, because of COVID, we can't do that. So what about online church? Well, online church along with many of our other online resources, will continue as we return to the church building. Returning to the church building will feel like a joyful homecoming, and yet at the very same time, it'll be tinged with a bit of apprehension. We need to hold those tensions together as we worship and pray. Don't forget, this place has been a place of worship, and prayer and encounter with God for 154 years. We will continue in the next season for this place to be a place where people will love Jesus, will follow him, will encounter his extravagant love. So come, if you have any questions, uh, please write them, type them in the comment section and we will get back to you with a response.